Hey guys, welcome back to Rod Doing Stuff. So today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to do some Dutch oven potatoes. These are my favorite Dutch oven potatoes. They're cheesy Dutch oven potatoes. So instead of using the smoker today, we're going to be using the Dutch oven. I'm going to show you how we do that. The wind's blowing pretty bad today, so hopefully you can hear what I'm saying here. But we're going to get going on these. I'm going to bring in closer. Uh, first thing we got to do, I already got the, the potatoes cut up. So these are you want about uh, 12 to 15 potatoes, russet potatoes. I've got two onions, and I've got a pound of thick cut bacon over here. So I already cut those up because I figured you didn't need to watch me do that. Everybody can figure out how to fill potatoes and cut them up. So next thing we're going to do is we need to fry this bacon. First thing we want to do, so we've got uh, about 18 briquettes on the bottom of this Dutch oven. This is where you want it to be. We're going to put this bacon in here. We're just going to mix it up. We're going to get it fried up. Uh, you want it to, not to where it's all the way done, but almost done, because it's going to cook a little more with the potatoes in there. So we're just going to go ahead and get this fried up. We'll check back with you when we put the onions in. bacon starting to get a little crispy on some of the edges so we're gonna get these onions in here and get them going Okay guys, so we got to mix up our cheese sauce for our potatoes. We got this cheddar cheese soup, so it's going in first. Next thing going in there is a can of cream of chicken soup. We've got uh, three cloves of garlic, minced. You can cut your own up. I buy the pre-minced stuff. It's easier. Next thing, about a tablespoon of soy sauce. And a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Or a little more. Whatever you like. Then, we're going to add some sour cream and I usually put about half a container in about like that maybe a little more out there and that's going to do it for our sauce we just got to mix this up get it all put together It'll be ready to go in with those potatoes as soon as we get those in there. So our bacon's over there frying up right now. We're going to get our onions in here in just a second. And we'll show you how we mix this all together and get it cooked up for some awesome cheesy potatoes. Okay, just like that, and uh, it's ready to go on our potatoes. All right, guys, so we got this all fried up. The bacon is looking good. Onions are looking good. At this point, we want to get those potatoes put in. 
and get the cheese sauce put over the top of them. We're going to throw our potatoes in here. Add a little bit of salt just to taste. And we're going to add a little bit of coarse ground black pepper. A lot of coarse ground black pepper because I like pepper. You can add however much you want. Give that a little stir. Make everything all happy in there. Okay, now we're going to get our cheese sauce, get that put over the top of this. Alright, get our cheese sauce put in here. Alright, now we're going to mix that up. You just want to get that coated on all those potatoes. And it'll start to get runny, so it'll get coated on them anyway. But you want to stir it around a bit. These are going to be so good. Can't wait. Alright, so we're going to let those sit. What we're going to do... We're going to put our lid back on. We put about 12 briquettes on the top of this thing. And we'll be out in about 15 minutes to uh, stir this up. Alright guys, these potatoes are done. Give me a taste of these. They look delicious. Still a little warm, they've been sitting there for about 15 minutes, but they're still pretty hot. Hot. Oh yeah. You guys, you gotta try this recipe. If you like Dutch oven, you like Dutch oven potatoes, these are some of the best I've ever had. They're cheesy, they're good, they have that bacon in there. Just an awesome Dutch oven recipe. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and a like, and we'll see you on the next one.